Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another week of the You Like That podcast. Join with me. My name is Adam. I'm one half of the You Like That podcast. Uh, my name's Jack. I'm the other half of the You Like That podcast. Welcome back to another week, guys. Another main show episode, looking at a new movie this week here. Um, this week, we're looking at Dune. Dune. I'm getting in early with Dune. Dune. Um, checking out this one. Uh, we're going to jump into some news for the week, like we always like to do. Finish off with a couple questions. If you're new around here, if you're watching on YouTube, Hit that subscribe button. Stick around. We got a lot of content. We make a lot of good stuff. We're funny guys. Yeah, I watch it. I recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good show. It's, it's, <laughs> it's pretty good. If you're bored, just whack it on. Chances are we've done a movie that you want to know yeah, about. Yeah, I quite like it. And if you don't like this one, we do an extra episode through the week. Yes, we do. We give you the choice of it. It's a bit of a more classic episode, themed, and you are uh, you have the option to choose what we do over on our Instagram page. If you want to find us around there, link tree in the bio below. Do all that good stuff. Correct. We appreciate you. Um, but this week, this week we're in a main show, we're looking at Dune, we're going to jump into some news now, because there's a little bit of news, some good stuff around there. Um, we're going to jump in deep with, uh, some more tragic news in the world. Um, a fatal shooting occurred on the set of Alec Baldwin's new movie, Rust, uh, in which a prop gun was fired off and killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins, uh, and wounded director Joel Souza. Um, it's a fucking big mess right now. Yeah, it's insane that this wasn't fixed when Brandon Lee died in yeah. fucking 1993 or whenever it was. Um, it's insane that people are still using blanks and real guns and stuff. It, it would cost nothing to just put a muzzle flash and a sound effect mm. in post on a good-looking fake gun. Well, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of unwritten rules and procedures that everyone should be following on a on a film set to ensure this yeah this type like uh, i heard one of the golden rules is if you're if the camera's pointing or if a gun is being pointed towards directly into the camera shot no one is to be standing behind that camera correct or there should be a perspex glass screen yeah or uh, uh, um, umpteenth the amount yeah. of measures to take if that's the shot yeah and treat you're looking any to get. Anything that even resembles a gun as if it's loaded, pretty much. Yep. Um, but yeah, this is just, it's insane that it's still a practice that's happening. Mm. And all it takes is, you know, one thing to go wrong, one person to just slightly slip up because it's human error. Like, you know, you, it's a human behind this job. Yeah. Humans are imperfect things. Everyone makes mistakes. And yeah, it costs someone their life. Mm. Um, it, it, it'll change now. Yeah, it would for just... sure. Surely have to be. They'll there's definitely already, be. There, yeah, there's already been some productions like, oh, you know, we'll never use yeah live blanks again and stuff. But yeah, I think a lot of people I think it'll it. now just be law. Yeah, like, surely it it's, it's going to have to be. I mean, it's it's not about cutting corners and and all this other bullshit. You just got to fucking do what you got to do to protect the safety of everyone around you. Yeah, it, it's such a big thing. And you know, Alec Baldwin's sake, he just got handed a gun and said, "Yeah, here's his shot." He was just doing his job. Yeah, he, just, he didn't know like. You know, it, yeah. it, when it comes to weaponry, there's you got you know prop masters and that that deal with all, all this yeah. to hand it off and go here it is ready to go. He's for used you. prop guns before, like a thousand mm. times before. Like you, yeah, you, you don't know. Um, apparently though, this movie has been having a, a couple of hiccups in production anyway with crew. Yeah, uh, walking off that day actually a couple of hours beforehand. Yeah, due to feeling unsafe in the environment because a gun had been misfired twice yeah and they're already feeling this doesn't seem right so they walked and the producers and the production company got a couple of locals in on the fly and then yeah. this happened it's, yeah it's not looking good on their yeah, set it's just fucking tragic and i hope Alec baldwin's okay and i hope everyone who was on set that day is okay and- yeah well apparently baldwin's been in contact with um uh, helena's um uh, father and he's he's not putting any blame on alec whatsoever yeah because how can you you know it's he won answers in that, fucking, but yeah, this is going to be sad era. Yeah, it'd be hard for him to go back to this, even if this movie just fucking goes forward anymore. Yeah, but yeah, I, don't, uh, I don't know what they do. I don't know what the scenario is. It's a fucking weird one. Uh, so yeah, uh, hearts out to Helena Hutchins and yeah, her family on this definitely. one. Um, in some strange news, I didn't realize this movie was happening. Uh, Ryan Gosling has been cast as Ken in the upcoming Barbie movie. Yeah, Margot, Margot, Margot Robbie. Robbie. Yeah, yeah. I, just... I didn't know this was a thing. I don't know why it's a thing. It's to weird. be fair, we I don't know. casting. If it's like a kids' movie, 
don't know why they're casting A-listers and I, Emmy from I fucking f- Oscar feel winners. Like, I feel like it's not going to be a kid's movie, eh? I have no idea. There's going to be something. Yeah, Margot Robbie's not a child-friendly actor and I don't. Mm. I wouldn't put Ryan Gosling in that either. Some weird dark comedy, maybe. It's going to be... I don't know. It'll be, it's yeah. very strange. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a thing. So, I guess if you've loved Barbie since you were very young, you might want to see this, but you won't find it here on this show. Two very attractive leads. Mm. Uh, whatever. Whatever happens, happens. Um, Hayden Christensen's also been confirmed to be appearing in the Ahsoka Disney Plus series upcoming Yep. Um, to reprise his role as Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker. Everyone's uh, been posting, welcome back to Star Wars, Hayden Christensen, but he was announced for Obi-Wan like <laughs> seven months ago yeah. or something. It's just like, uh, How short is the internet's fucking memory? Yeah, like, it's either that or they're just sort of going, <laughs> oh, maybe this is now he's not just coming back to do one little thing. Yeah, I suppose. That he's makes sort of more stepping sense. into a couple other yeah, roles, which like, is great to see. I, you know, Christensen was someone that more or less did Star Wars and just sort of dipped on Hollywood. Just yeah, did a, did a yeah, bunch yeah. of. Did a couple of rom coms and. A couple of rom coms, a couple of indies. Hollywood didn't really want him. No. Nah. Yeah. And then Disney Plus were like, hey, you know, you played that big character. God forbid we do something new. Let's <laughs> fucking drag up the past again. Basically. Spider-Man No Way Home. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Spider-Man No Way yeah. Home indeed. And speaking of Sony, Sony's added two mystery Marvel movie slots to their 2023 release window for June and October 2023. Right. They've said we're releasing two Marvel movies okay. in association with Marvel, I should say. Well, Craven's been cast, so Craven's definitely one of them. Craven is due January 2023. Yep. So this isn't one of them. Oh, so two, two on top of that. It's two on top of Craven. Yeah, right. It'd be a fucking quick turnaround for Venom 3. Mm. So I don't think it'd be that. It'd be a quick turnaround for even Maybe Morbius spies. is getting delayed again. <laughs> <laughs> Another year and a half. Very possibly, because apparently that's still a movie as well. Wherever, wherever uh, it may where, be. It's there somewhere. It's somewhere it's around. It's in someone's hard Someone's drive. got it. <laughs> and it's it's just been left to the fucking wolves, but um, yeah, we'll be getting that, which will be interesting to see what uh, what. Yeah, I wonder do what they are. Yeah, whether it's something new, or whether they're just going more into their. Yeah. Yeah, you there on the internet? Their Look universe. up who Marvel doesn't have the rights to, but Sony does, and yeah. then tell us. You probably able to put it together because I'm I've sure. I've got my phone not- here. Tell me right now. I'm sure it's not that long of a list. I'll wait. Tell me before <laughs> the end of this episode. Thank you. We'll be waiting. Um. <laughs> Uh, so uh, also reports came out Oscar Isaac turned down the role of Freddie Mercury in the Queen movie okay he was uh, he was offered the role he ultimately thought no one would be interested in a Freddie Mercury biopic how wrong he was yeah apparently that movie's not very good though it depends I didn't mind it I don't don't like Queen don't know a fucking thing about Queen neither do I (laughs) it wasn't bad yeah right but he ultimately said that um, he could not have done what Rami Malek did anyway Uh, Rami Malek was that's great casting. Great, was great casting. He, he killed it. He was really fucking good in that. It was a, a a massive, massive step for him in his career. I mean, look at him now. Bond he villain. A good actor. Step up, Rami Malek. Um, last little bit, because I wanted to end on this. We got the Uncharted trailer. Yes, we did. We got a trailer for the upcoming Uncharted film starring Tom Holland and one Mark Wahlberg. Also, and the, the one of the main girls from You Season 3 is in it. She yes. looks like to be the bad guy. Or one of the bad guys. Um, I think she's, she'll be playing... Chloe? Chloe? Pretty sure her name is Chloe. She's more or less... She's the, she's a person of colour with short, shaved head. Yeah. She, mm, yeah. She's a helps. bit of a good, bit of a bad... I don't know. Yeah, she, she, she's a thing. Um, but it's in there. Um, so this came out to a lot of backlash, uh, straight up due to the casting of this movie in general. Um, people are not having a good time discerning the uh, the differences between. Yeah, the problem is it's an uncharted movie. Um, it looks like a really fucking fun, expensive action adventure movie yes. with like cool wise cracking and good actors. Mm. You know doing acting yes you know, it looks really fucking fun and some of the set pieces look spectacular yes and, definitely so the sets are like everything looks great mm. the problem is it's linked to uncharted and it looks nothing like uncharted yeah so so that's why people are angry people are not judging this based on the movie yeah not at all it, the the, sh- the only shit i've been seeing is just the fact that people go not nah, mark Wahlberg is not sully because sully has always been old yeah. and gray and fat 
And Tom Holland. But Tom Holland is too young. We, okay, we, fine. we knew Nathan Fillion was the one to play sure. yeah. Nate after he did that short. But I think... But as a movie, it looks like a fucking riot. As a movie, this looks incredible. I'm still so excited. After seeing this, I'm like, yes, this is what I've played in the games. It's exactly, yeah, it's exactly what I thought it would look there like. There is, yeah, because there's, they've used multiple scenarios from uh, the whole franchise in this. Uh, so you get the cargo plane scene from Uncharted 3. Yep. You've got the, uh, the lost pirate ship from Uncharted 4. Yep. You've also got the um, the fancy auction with the suits uh, and the mention of Nate's brother Sam as well. Yeah. So they're just throwing everything in, being like, yeah, fucking here it is. Mm-hmm. But it's just, it's young Nate. It's young Sully. But I think the main thing with the casting of this is they had to look at this and go, this is going to be an expensive movie. We have to put actors that get a draw. Yeah, cause, yeah, it would be hard to sell an Uncharted movie to people who aren't aware of Uncharted. Yeah, but it's hard to sell a movie movie to people who are aware of Uncharted. Like, it's yeah. a fucking rock and a hard place. Exactly with a, right. It's a video game movie, and not just a video game movie. It's a, an incredibly cinematic, and yeah. beloved video game movie. Like, yeah. you know, the quick time event jokes. You're just watching a movie when you're playing Uncharted. Yeah, but exactly. That's the draw. It's spectacular. It's fun. It's it's like a movie. Yeah, every single one of those games are so always yeah, incredible. So when you make a movie of it, fucking hell, your back's already glued to the wall. Mm. So you have to make a good movie yeah. to sell it. Like they really had to go hard for so this. So I hope they've made a good movie. Yeah, because uh, everyone was asking <coughs> Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg why they haven't pushed to make this movie and they just gone because it's Indiana Jones. Yeah. If we make this, it's just Indiana Jones. Correct. Because all Uncharted is is just an act- is just an action adventure. Yeah. It's finding lost treasures. Yeah. And, and, and a it's bit a of wise crack and like, wise charismatic crack, it's, Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it's all it is. So they didn't want to touch it then, but we're getting it now. I I still personally I still am very excited for this. It's, I I can put aside my love for the franchise and just be happy that I'm finally getting a movie out. Yeah, of because it. you're not a fucking idiot. Exactly. Everyone on Reddit is <laughs> fucking a fucking basically. idiot. Grow up. Like, who gives a shit? Because play the games. They're still there. Yeah. Okay. Just. And you know what? You're still going to go watch it. Yeah, hundred percent. You, you are will. still. You've already bought a fucking ticket. You're going to rinse it, but then you're going to go buy it, and then because of your pride, you're going to come on Twitter that night being like, "Yeah, it was such a shit movie." Meanwhile, yeah. you're pre-ordering the DVD. Yeah. That's the internet, baby. That's the internet, baby. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it, it's good to still see that. We're getting that coming out. Tom Holland's just still killing it. Um, yeah, so that's the news for the week. Jumped in really well. Um, so let's jump into our review of Dune, shall we? Yes, sir. Alrighty. So, Dune, released 2021, should have been released 2020. Uh, the plot summary... Dune is set far in the future amidst a sprawling feudal interstellar empire where planetary fiefdoms are controlled by noble houses that owe allegiance to the Imperial House Carino. The novel tells the story of young Paul Atreides, heir apparent to Duke Leto Atreides and scion of House Atreides, as he and his family relocate to the desert planet Arrakis, the only source of the spice, Malang, the most important and valuable substance in the universe. <laughs> In a story that explores the complex and multi-layered interactions of politics, religion, ecology, technology, and human emotion, the fate of Paul, his family, his new planet, and its native inhabitants, as well as the Padish Emperor, the powerful Spazing Guild, and the secretive family order of the Bean Deseret, are all drawn together into a confrontation that will change the course of humanity! I've passed away from boredom. <laughs> I've passed away. The, the podcast's <laughs> finished. <laughs> so... Basically, Dune is a movie about sand and spice. Here's a spoiler. It's a part one. Mm-hmm. It's a two and a half hour right. part one movie. Yeah, yeah. correct. Um, so this is directed by Denis Villeneuve, based on the book Dune by Frank Herbert. Uh, runtime of 156 minutes. It's fucking long. Budget of 165 million. Pretty modest for this, I want to say. Yeah. Uh, box office is rated in 147 million thus far. Rotten yeah. Tomato score. 88% with the critics, 92% with the audience. Yep. This has a long cast here. Uh, we've got Timothy Chalamet playing Paul Atreides, Rebecca Ferguson as Lady Jessica, Oscar Isaac as Duke Leto Atreides, Josh Brolin as Gurney Halleck, Stellan Skarsgård as Baron Vladimir Hakkonen, Dave Bautista as Glossier Raban, Stephen McKinley Henderson as Thufir Hawat, 
Zendaya as Shani, David Dasmaushian as Peter DeVries, Chang Chang as Dr. Wellington Yue, Jason Momoa as Duncan Idaho, Javier Bardem as Stilgar, and a few other people around there with a lot of fucking names. <laughs> as you can already tell, this movie is full of fucking fuck. So, Jack... <laughs> Dune, what is your thoughts on Dune? This is like a stress dream where you study for your biology exam Yep. for three years. Yep. And then you show up on the day to your biology exam. You sit down and you wait and you wait and you wait. They make you wait for like three hours. And then you get a piece of paper in front of you and it says ancient history on the top of it. <laughs> it's just so many fucking words and places and names and lore and it's in, and they vomit it to you mm. in the first 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. It's just endless fucking names and lore, and it doesn't stop. No. But, you know, it's still going at a snail's pace because, of course, it is. Yeah. It's just fucking relentless with names. And then the rest of the movie, none of it fucking matters because they're just out in the sand. Yeah. If you know the worm's name and you know... Shy Halu. Yeah, and you know where they're going and who they're looking for. That's all you need to know. You don't need to know the rest of this fucking political landscape and all these... fuck. God damn it. It's just never-ending. Yeah. And then it's for nothing because the movie is just so fucking dull and just catastrophically catatonic. Like I, It's like you're visiting someone in a hospital bed. Yeah. And they can't talk back to you and it's just boring. It's fucking boring, and because it's it's June, it's about sand and spice and the desert. It just looks horrible. It's disgusting to look at, and I guess that's yep. the point. That's the art, and the books probably like that. But it's just a fucking insult. Like I hated every second of this. I, I like some of the cast. I think. This is such an indictment on your movie, but I think Jason Momoa is the best part of it because he he's clearly <laughs> he out. gets some fight scenes and there's a bit of fucking, that was literally his only part. There's a bit too. of fucking <laughs> there's a bit of fucking excuse the pun spice under him, yeah, because he's clearly doing his own stunts and it's a very spectacular fight scene. This is a nightmare. This movie was a fucking nightmare to sit through, and it just kept going, and it's one third of the story. Yeah. Mental. Yep. Um, Mental movie. I'm complete agreeance with you. Um, I I just... The whole time after I watched this and knowing that we had to review this, I just didn't know what to, like what I wanted to say because I'm looking at this, I'm looking at the reviews I'm seeing, the, the, the scores, everything, and I'm like, am I, am I dumb? Or like is, like, is this just catered to... A certain group, I guess, because but they're not happy either. Because Reddit was just like, "Oh my god, I can't believe they left this out." And I was like, "How did they leave anything out? Yeah. There is so much in there. There's a lot." <laughs> so I'm going through, and you know, the movie's just progressing, as you said, snail's pace. Oh, it's agonizing. It's every scene is drawn out beyond belief. Oh god. So when you look at the cast for this movie, and you go, "Oh." Uh, let's let's say uh, uh, Dave Batista. I can't wait to see him in this movie. His ball sack I hope head. You, I hope you like seeing him for two and a half minutes. He'll be in the next one. Yeah. Is that, this but you got to get through yeah. this first. This is a massive spoiler. So three, two, one. Uh, Zendaya has been doing all of the press and all of the marketing. She's at the end for a couple of seconds. She's in a few a couple of dreams. Of dreams. Yeah. She does a bit of voiceover. Yeah. Zendaya is not in this movie. Barely. It is she really is front ridiculous. and center of the marketing. Yeah. And Zendaya, she's not in it yet. Uh, no. She yeah. will be in the next one a yeah. lot. So, Christ with that, on a uh, expecting to see certain actors do certain things, and it's played the game of, yeah, 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 but this is a part one. So, you, we've got to develop all the bullshit first. And you're like, that's a bold fucking move. Yeah. You want to make a two and a half hour movie, uh, uh, part one. That's all about getting the politics and all the bullshit out of the way. Because Denis just came out and said, oh, you know, the I wanted to lay the land in, in this one, and then the second one's going to be like all fucking like balls yeah, of yeah. the wall. But, and I'm like, okay. If I see the trailer <laughs> for that and I see a bit more, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll be more a bit more excited for that one, and I might enjoy that one a bit more. 
But this, it's like, fuck, you really got to, like, have a dull brain and just like to see blank. But you have to listen to it. You have to pay attention if you want to know yeah. what's either going to happen in this movie or in future movies. Yeah. Because this is... You need to know who's who and what the power is, which is... It's a lot less Star Wars-y than I thought. It goes yeah. a bit more Matrix, if anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in so far as he's called the one. <laughs> like, come, <laughs> come on. Yeah. Uh, I guess June came out before the Matrix. So the Matrix ripped everything off. Well, well before, but okay, yeah. But anyway, it's less Star Wars-y than I thought it was going to be. So yeah. I was like, okay. But it's still incredibly sci-fi. It's very, yeah, it's very, very sci-fi. Like, this is, like, everything about this is is a fucking sci-fi nerd's, like, wet dream. Yes. Everything that they do is just that shit. Yeah, but it doesn't look good. But it doesn't look good. That's, <laughs> That's yes. the problem. That's the whole thing. So, there is no color to this movie. Because it, it is... It's yellow. It is just incredibly dark, dull, no light. Uh, you get a couple daylight scenes, but then it's not... And the whole time they're in, like, the desert of Arrakis, they're like, oh, it's so fucking hot out here. You've got to wear these special suits so you can recycle your sweat and that and drink yeah. it. Yeah. But it looks like it's night time. Again, just so much lore. <laughs> or, yeah. Even behind what they're wearing, you need a fucking 40-page book. Yeah, so... A it, fucking it's... engineering degree to know why the dragonfly fucking planes work. Yeah, yeah. Which is just <laughs> weird design, but sure. It, it, the year's 10,091, yet we're basing our spacecraft off fucking Dragonfly. Okay. Because they probably haven't fucking I died guess. out yet. There's no villain. Like, there is a villain, but he's not a good one. The villain... So, the the villain is, is, is Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. Yeah. Big, fat, Stellan Scars guy with fucking... that can float. Which I like the design. It's cool. When, when he's sure. like... Because you're not you're not aware that he's floating because he's like wearing a big robe, yeah. so you're like, oh, his legs just that long or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. he's always powering up his spine, so yeah. you're like, oh, maybe he has mechanical go go gadget legs. Yeah, and it, it's quite an unsettling design, but he the yeah. performance is not good. No, because it's a lot of heavy breathing and bleh. yeah, and he's not menacing at all. He doesn't get a lot of room to talk. <laughs> no, he just sets it up in like... a movie full of fucking talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're fucking without a doubt. Um, so yeah, everything's dull and weird. Um, you know, the the main first part of this is pretty much just led as Oscar Isaac and Timothy Chalamet doing a deal of just, some kind. Yeah, trying to set up camp. So Oscar Isaac's character is just a whole like leader of the House of Traders and all that, and does all the politic bullshit and. Uh, but he has a heart. He's a human being. Like, he's a human being. He's trying to change stuff on Arrakis to make it better, but yeah. he's still got to steal the spice and stuff. Yeah, so they're moving from their planet because they say, uh, yep, uh, sign this and you'll get control of, of, of fucking Arrakis and you can restart and the spice plant. And, and, and the testicle head, Dave Batista, they'll all leave you alone. Yeah. They're, they're not going like, to They're pulling anything. out. You guys can have a crack. Yeah. And it's just a, a blind sign to... Kill the whole house anyway. Yeah, and the Freemen are just there. The Freemen are just there, like I, I guess, we got spice. Yeah, and again, you don't meet the spice. You don't meet any of them till the end of the movie, anyway. So yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out years. about them. I mean, yeah, we couldn't <laughs> learn about it in two and a half hours, but hey, who's counting? Huh? Um, and then you just get more of the backstory of uh, of why Timothy Chalamet's character Paul is so destined to be the one. And it's more like his his mum is part of the order of of the women that uh, have been uh, foretelling for like it's their prophecy. Yeah, and they've been carefully breeding their bloodlines. Yeah, um, to one day cross it enough to create the one, the one to have this harboring power. Yeah. To do fucking who knows what. But unfortunately, a boy with a little old willy comes out. Yeah, because she was like, you fucking, we told you to have a girl and you went and fucking had a boy because you love your husband. Yeah. Timothy Chalamet is great. Yeah, he's incredible. He's really good in this. And I, like, I never bought him as a lead. And even in all the trailers for this, I was mm. just like, ah, oh, he just looks like a 14-year-old kid. Yeah. <laughs> but he's fucking great, man. He, yeah. he carries it. He carries himself really well. He plays like, his character perfectly. He play, yeah, he's fucking great. And I was really surprised by how good he was. Mm. Like, pleasantly so. Yeah. Because, like, he's going to be in everything. He, he's already starting to be in everything. He's a yep. very 
quirky, good-looking young man. Yeah. So, of course, Hollywood's snapping him up. Yeah. But, yeah, like, he's great. He's great, and he's he's dynamic with uh, Rebecca Ferguson. Is that yeah? Hey, Rebecca Ferguson. Yeah. yeah, like she's great too. Like she's very torn yeah, because she's also her, front and center yeah, herself as well. Torn between yeah, she's like the main character mm. pretty much, and she's torn between you know like being a mum and making sure Timothy Chalamet is okay. Whatever his name is, Paul. Like, Paul the names yeah, in this are so fucking stupid. Everyone Paul. else has a fucking stupid yeah. name, and then you got Paul his and Duncan. <laughs> Duncan Idaho. Duncan Idaho. But anyway, she's she wants to raise him to make sure he's okay and confident in himself. Yeah. So it's the dad, Oscar Isaac, like he's just like, hey, I don't want you to be a fighty guy. I just want you to be a politics guy because you're smart. You know all these languages. You're very yeah. diplomatic. And then Timothy, Timothy, fuck, Paul, Paul, <laughs> Paul. He's just a spoiled little kid who has dreams of being in the war. So he wants to be in the war. He wants to fight. Yeah. Understands his powers, but doesn't have a control over them yet. Yeah, still Not doesn't know how to really project clear it properly. what his powers are. It's, mind control. it's sort of like a mind control yeah. type thing where it's a certain pitch in the voice yeah. that can just get someone to do something. Yeah, and then he also has he can he has visions, mm. but the the times all fucked up. Yeah, so like you you get an early hint of it. He sees the the priest women coming down. But that actually happens in reverse. They're actually leaving and Rebecca Ferguson's flying. She's yeah. not. It looks like she's in great distress, but she's just like, she, she got her feelings hurt, you know? Yeah. Like, so that fucking ruins whatever's going to happen in the next movie because it's being all predicted. Yeah. But and then you realize it's, it's Paul having free will over the future mm. and knowing the future, you can change it. Yeah. Which is weird in like prophecy sort of stuff. You don't see that a lot. Yeah, you see yeah. a lot of uh, no matter what, it's going to happen, and yeah. maybe that'll happen. But at the end of the movie, we we see the end of the movie a few times mm. of him getting stabbed in the stomach, but then he doesn't do that. He wins the fight. Yeah. Oh, spoilers for this whole movie! What fucking who cares? It doesn't um, matter. You won't get it anyway. No, no. Yeah, so he changes the future, which does make movie two a bit more intriguing because mm. you're like, oh, okay, some of the stuff we've been seeing might not happen at all. Yeah, uh, maybe we don't know. But I, there's interest here. Yeah, hundred percent. That, that, is, that uh, like I know I said it's boring and dull and a nightmare. And but it's it not. It's not a bad movie. Yeah, it, none of it collapses and falls apart. Yeah. it's all very structured, but the, it's, it's fucking too yeah. structured. <laughs> yeah, because it goes for nine days and it's just exactly like everything that. Everything is there. Though. The, 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 every part of the recipe is there, laid out on the table. Yeah, ready to cook up that dish, but. For some, the palate's just not there. Like, no. your palate's just like, uh-huh. Yeah. And some yeah, are like, yeah. fucking yes. Yeah. Oh, of course. Fucking hell, there's an audience for this. Because this is deep, deep sci-fi. Like, yeah, fucking yeah, fucking deep. When it, when it comes from a, from a fucking novel. Yeah. Like, novels are spread fucking thick. Sci-fi. Yeah, the Dune, geek, no- the Dune novel My alone God. is like a big boy. Yeah. So, uh, it, like, everything's there for that. And, like, if you... If you like Dune, like if you like the novel, if you manage to watch the original movie or whatever, you will have the interest for this and you're probably going to appreciate it more than what we will. Yeah, we had the interest because we liked Denis Villeneuve and we liked yeah. the cast and the trailer, like uh, we went to the movies last night and the trailer for this played. Yeah. And it's super, the Hans Zimmer score is like, bah, bah, and there's fire and it's bah, and there's action and there's that. Yeah. That vision Paul has of him in the Power Rangers suit, like wow, wow, yeah. it's just a vision. That's f- four seconds in the movie. That's yeah. not actually happening. And then you've got some uh, like Jason Momoa's fights, which actually happen, mm. but the whole, pretty much their entire fight is it's in the, the trailer. trailer one, yeah, and it's just like they they are marketing this really fucking what's the word, uh, um, 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 untruthfully. Dishonestly, yes, it's false marketing. It's yeah, times a thousand because this movie is not what. Yeah, you well, think they it just kind of was like, that's in the movie, but then they're like, but let's not talk about the lingering scenes that we have in between that follow. God, the endless conversations. Because <laughs> like, let's let's say if this movie was shorter, let's say this had an hour and fifty runtime. Yeah, all right, and there was a lot of that fat cut out completely. Yeah. I think it would be a much more enjoyable. Yeah, absolutely, experience. absolutely. But then there's that that 
tale of the the massive fandom going, ah, you didn't talk about this. Yeah. Oh, you didn't show this. You left out this part. You know, there's there's all this exposition and like, like from watching watching this movie, I feel like had so much more a rich depthness of of an exposition and and storytelling and an arc and the lore yeah. than what nine Star Wars movies did. Yeah. Like, because Star Wars are very easy to understand Star Wars. Yeah. The, yeah. Because the movies come through and you and don't, have to, you don't have to worry about that was the point of Star Wars. Yeah. Is to be accessible. Yeah. 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 This and is this not one, accessible. N- not, not at all. Like Th- This is a fucking black metal album th- when th- you <laughs> listen to Fergie. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. fucking yeah. hell. Like, this is not a movie that you can... You can stroll uh, uh, stroll around after dinner w- w- with with your missus or your boyfriend or whatever, and go. Oh, what's what, what's playing? Do, do you want to check that out? You can't Let's talk to it. No, uh, no. Yeah, Alyssa and I started watching this with all intention to watch it. Yeah, and we were just like, "Fuck, we've already missed so many names and stuff." And so we watched Twilight instead, <laughs> so <laughs> we could talk over fair. it. You know, <laughs> like this is yeah. not, this is just like yeah. So you I'm, know what I mean? I'm sitting there thinking like, would I maybe enjoy this in a cinematic viewing? Yeah. Like, is it going to add anything to me? I think so. Concentrating more. I think. And appreciating it more. I think in a super loud theater, like, just paying full attention. Yeah. The Hans Zimmer score, Denny Villeneuve doing what he can with the fucking color palette and editing yeah. and whatever. I think it would have been better in a cinema. Mm. Probably. Yeah. I don't think many people are going to see it in the cinema because it's available at home. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing, you know, because it is. It is such a long movie, and it's when you see a runtime like that, you you question, can I sit through that at a cinema? I think genuinely, like hand on heart, I think I would have walked out. I think, yeah, personally, I can say it. I think I would have gotten to. I would have had a nap. I think the first sandworm attack, when mm. it's not really an attack, and the sandworm isn't that interesting at all. Yeah, with the, uh, the 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 crop fucking the, the the machine picker the ewok it looked exactly like fucking <laughs> yeah. the sand yeah in return of the jedi um i probably would have gotten to that scene that the timothy chalamet vision wasn't really anything yeah the worm isn't really anything yeah i would have gone nah, fuck this yeah. and that's about 35 40 minutes in yeah because it's just misleading it, yeah, it's 100%. just yeah it, Point, it's not pointless because it's going to have a point eventually. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that, but fucking not in this movie. Exactly it's right. It's just it, that's why it's just so hard to discuss this because you've got all this in in this film, but you know that like the next part is is gonna kick this one's ass completely and it's gonna kick it into like gear really fucking fast. Yeah, but it's like. Oh, this, and, and they this show one flashes. Yeah, drags it. They show flashes of another planet that looks different, and it's a yeah. different color palette. And you're like, maybe I'll be more into it if I'm not looking at mm. sand. Yeah, that color of sand and sandstorms. Yeah, like you know, Mad Max Fury Road is set in sandstorms and sand and stuff, and it's one of the most beautiful movies of yeah, all it's time. Fucking incredible. You know why? Because you can fucking see everything. You can fucking see it. I don't know, man. Like I was just like. Like, I love Danny Villeneuve so much. Yeah. And uh, in the props and the sets and, well, whatever the sets are, they're all just big rooms with some stuff on the walls sometimes. Yeah, pretty much. And, like, fucking... I forgot Javier Bardem was in it, so when he unmasked himself, yeah. I was like, holy fuck, yes, yeah. yes. And then he's not in it until the end, <laughs> of course. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, like, and I'm really excited by the actors, <laughs> not like, the characters. Yeah. You know. Yeah, because everyone was just like, oh, David S. Maushin's having such a fucking big year. He's in Dune. Nope. He's in fucking Suicide Squad. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, yeah, he was in Dune yeah. for, for a whole 45 seconds. With no eyebrows. With no eyebrows, With yeah. No eyebrows. But hey, yep, he was in it though. You can still put that in his credits. <laughs> <laughs> fucking had something to do with it. Hey, man, he'll get a paycheck. Yeah. Um, but so yeah, fucking... um, I think the, uh, not many of you are going to like this at all, I think. Yeah, unless generally. you're like heavily, heavily into the novel. Um, you ha- and, and you would have to have it. some sort of connection to it, I yeah. think. And yeah. then you might love it. You, this might be fucking brilliant yeah, for you. Fucking uh, as I yeah. said, the 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 Rotten Tomatoes score is eighty eight, ninety two percent. Like it's 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 favorable. Yeah, it's so high up favorable. It's a very competent movie. It's just I don't know, man. It's just too much of nothing. Yeah. How, yeah. how do you do both of that? You know, like yeah. how do you get it like that? How do you? 
Yeah. I don't know. And I know it seems like we completely rinse this movie, but as again, this isn't a bad movie. This isn't a, a flop of a movie. It's just not on the course that we want it to be on. Yeah. I hated it, but I don't hate it because it's a bad movie. Yeah. I hate it for my own reasons. Yeah. Exactly. You know, like, fuck it. It's the same as any. It's art. It's subjective. But I just, I genuinely, knowing the people I know who listen to this show, like, yeah. I don't know the whole internet, but I just don't think anyone listening to this is going to like this movie yeah. at all. <laughs> no. Because um, I, I know, for one, when I, when I finished it and the movie ended the way it did, I went... Are you fucking serious? I said, come on. I literally come look. On. I watched the credits run. I went, oh, you motherfuckers. Yeah, I wasn't watching the runtime. Like so, sometimes I'll do that if I'm not interested in a movie. But I was just, I just was not watching it. Yeah. And I was like, I recognize that I've been watching it for a long time, but there yeah. has to be more coming. Has to be. Nope. Three years or something. Whatever. Whenever yeah. the next one comes out. Um. But apparently they've greenlit that sequel because they went. Oh, of course. Ah, if you've watched the movie already and you saw how it ended. It kind of answers your question. And you go, shut up, Warner Brothers, you fucks. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking say yes, it's coming. Yeah, like... Or remarket it when, and actually when put you, it as Dune Part 1. Yeah, when you put a director and a cast like this behind it. Yeah. Your intentions are fucking golden, aren't they? You, yeah. You're loud and clear, Warner Brothers. Would it have <laughs> fucked them up if they did label this as Dune Part 1? <laughs> it's hard to tell. I think less people would have seen it. Yeah. I think I think people are burnt out on Origins and Part 1s and stuff. Because then I feel like, yeah, more people would have been like... And they would have seen the runtime of a Part 1 and been like, yeah. fucking what? Yeah. And it this really would have swayed some people to not <laughs> flick it over. So I reckon, yeah, had they labelled as that, probably smart marketing decision that they didn't. Yeah. Because maybe when the DVD comes out, it would be called June Part 1. Yeah. Uh, and then everyone can decide to buy it. In a special two pack when both movies are out. <laughs> yeah, maybe people are waiting to s- Zack Snyder's Justice League marathon it. Yeah, Jason Momoa said there's a six hour cut, <sighs> and then Denis went, that "No, there's not." not. Me. <laughs> I'm like, are you sure? Because you fucking put all this in here. I'm sure there's a lot of cuts that didn't make the final take. I can't even. I cannot imagine what they left out. It doesn't register, and it, I don't know why this has anything to do with anything. I just remembered it. There's the worst thing. <laughs> When, when, when um, spoiler alert, Jason Momoa goes out to kill himself in a cool fight scene and, and you know, he says his nice goodbye to Paul and shuts the door and then there's a character in the background, like, you know, Paul's banging on the door going, no, no, yeah. no, don't get away, don't get away. <laughs> and it just cuts to another character and the character goes, he's locked it. <laughs> Why is that there? Yeah. We know. <laughs> We watched the door slowly yeah, close, and we heard know. it go. Kung, it's like this big stone door. Yeah, someone forgot. I uh, forgot the editing part. Come on. That one on. There. Um, so there was one other thing I forgot about as well. Their um, uh, shield suit of sorts. That looks terrible. I fucking hated that, that looks so awful. much. And they didn't do much. No, everyone keeps fucking dying. It, it protects you a couple of hits, and then you fucking gone anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I. I guess the fighting wasn't interesting enough, and I'm sure it's in the book. And, like, they had to do it a colourful way or something. Like, it had to be visually yeah. more interesting than what it was. Otherwise, yeah. the fight scenes would just be the Aquaman submarine scene because he's in yeah. a small corridor, he's flipping people over. Yeah. And it's fucking great. Jason Momoa is incredible, like, in terms of a yeah. stunt man. Yeah, without a doubt. And also a charming, charismatic man. Mm. He, he's great. Yeah, I can see why they keep casting him as himself. Yeah. I'm sure I'll burn out on that eventually. Yeah, exactly. so I'm fucking a couple of years and we'll <laughs> be talking about how him. much Jason Momoa was such a Jason Momoa character. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's just him fighting in a corridor. So if you yeah. put the shields in, it gives you some... It reminds you you're watching a sci-fi movie. Yeah, okay? yeah it does. Yeah. Sure. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, honestly, that's it. You keep vamping. I just got to finish this message. I'm okay. very sorry. <laughs> um, so that's Dune. Uh, it is a movie for a certain demograph that is not us at all. Uh, I'm sure we'll be more intrigued with part two when it does come out. Uh, but if you do want to watch it, it is available on the interwebs for streaming. Uh, it will be out in cinemas in Australia 2nd of December. 
Uh, if you want to wait that long, I don't suggest to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it is all available there, so you can watch it if you want to. And I don't know, let us know. If you have watched it already, let us know if you did enjoy this. If you are a fan of, of June and have an affiliation with the book. My dear friend Trent, who listens to this, uh, is a fan of June. Yep. So I'm really, really interested to talk to with him That'd about it. Yeah, yeah. Because... You know, yeah, maybe for a June fan, this is fucking pornography. Like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, for someone's Generally background, definitely be something uh, worth taking there. Um, all right, so that's June. That's a review done. Let's jump into a handful of questions. We saw, and... while, while you're doing that, we saw yep. The Heart of They Fall last night. Yes, it, yes. It's got a limited cinema run, yeah. and I think we should definitely put it on the board. Spoiler alert for that episode, if we do one, I think it's definitely going on the board. I think. Because it was quite good. Maybe that's spot 95. Yeah. A few weeks There's away. There's nothing there. Yeah, a month and a half away. Because I... And it's on Netflix mm, soon anyway, so... Yeah, because everything else coming up sort of has to be done. I don't want to miss any of those ones. No, and they're all cinema ones. Yep. Yeah, they're all cinemas. We can't uh, mailbox do with any of those ones. Nope. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm enjoying the cinemas again. Yeah. It's good to be back there. It's fun. Event Cinemas. Sponsor us. Shout out. But yeah, uh, How Do They Fall is in cinemas. Very briefly, I think you should go and watch it on the big screen. It's a very stylish, good movie, but yeah, we'll very do good. that. We'll talk about it. Very good. All right, a couple questions to round out the epi. Um, guys, if you want to send us any questions, head over to our Instagram. We put a post out the day of recording. You can send us whatever you want there. Question about anything. Don't have to be movies. We're very personal in this podcast. We'll let you know anything about ourselves. Yep. In complete and utter honesty. Uh, but if you've got anything you want to know through the week anyway, just drop us a DM and we'll keep it on the back burner. Um, all right. We'll jump with Chelsea. Uh, any hobbies or secret talents you have? Secret, like secret hobbies? Or just Secret hobby, secret talent. Either or, yeah. I guess. Uh, I'm the only person I know who watches MotoGP, apart from my brother. <laughs> but it's like one of the biggest sports in the world. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know anyone who watched F1 as well, but... A friend has recently revealed that she's been watching it like her whole life, and I was like, "Fuck, oh, fuck it, that's it." There you go. Um, secret talents. Ooh, I don't think I have any talent at all. I've got a double jointed thumb. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a thing. That's something. Hey, is that it's a talent a party, or is it a, party a trigger bodily malfunction? <laughs> it's a little bit of both. It's it's, yeah. it's 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 one hand feeding the other. Yeah, basically. I don't know, I guess I say funny things every month, maybe. Like one <laughs> funny thing a month in a social situation that can help sometimes. Yeah, we don't uh, We don't keep track of them, unfortunately. <laughs> There's no board for that one there. Um, yeah, hobbies uh, just collect a lot of shit. Uh, my room is a prime example of it. Yeah, fuck no. Um, uh, secret talents, no real secret talents. I mean, I like doing impersonations. Um and I could do magic card tricks that I forgot how to do, but I'm very intru- uh, 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 interested in relearning. I, I saw my friends today and I met a new friend. I have two stories in regards to this new mm-hmm. friend, like a friend's partner. Yeah. Um, firstly, he, he mentioned your cards because he's like a football guy. Oh. And he was just like, like, what does Adam's room look like? Because all he does is buy cards. And I was just <laughs> like, yeah, that reflects it. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> And um, yeah, I guess I'm like, I'm this weird, like actor slash movie trivia machine. Yeah. Like I just know, like, I don't know my fucking three times tables, but I know all these <laughs> weird, like who starred in what in the 90s yeah. or whatever. Like I can just sort of pump shit out of me like that. Yeah. And, I, and then I get to the podcast and I'm just like, goo, 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 and I can't, <laughs> I don't remember fucking <laughs> Timothy Chalamet's name, you know, like. I don't yeah. know, but yeah, I was just on fire today with all my stupid little trivia. There's yeah, there's one downfall with like doing this podcast as long as we've done it now, and it's it's the fact that I'm so akin with like all recent news and and rumors and everything like that. Yeah. So anytime someone comes up to me because they know I do the podcast and it's about movies, and they're just like, "Oh, have you, have you seen this?" Or they send me a link to something, and I'm like, "I sent it two weeks ago," <laughs> and then I tell them everything that I know about it. You just, just send like, them the link to the show with the timestamp. Pretty much. My mum did it. She she sent me a, a, a screenshot of Malignant because it's out in cinemas now. Okay. And she's like, you reckon this would be any good? I sent her a link straight to the episode. 
I'm like, no, gee, it mom, is not. <laughs> gee, mum, if you if you'd liked and supported your fucking son's shit, you'd know exactly what I thought of it. <laughs> you watch this review. <laughs> So it's just one of those things now yeah. where I just feel like I kind of hate doing it, but it's just because I know what I'm just like, I know you want to like... But it is useful try and in give social me something. situations because you can just... Yeah, well, it's a conversation thing. They go, oh, I heard this and I go, yeah. well, have you heard this? <laughs> and then I just give them the whole fucking spiel about why Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield are in No Way Home. 100%. Um, Could be within a two-day range of a new trailer. Yeah, which we didn't mention be because uh, Empire Magazine released... Yeah. Some cover arts, which look fucking incredible. So the, the rumor is the 25th, which in Australia is tomorrow, but in America is my, uh, Tuesday. Yeah. So maybe Tuesday morning we'll wake up maybe, to one. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe Monday I think it's midnight. very closely on the horizon. <laughs> there, was a, um, there was another leaked trailer making us rounds on TikTok. Of course. Um, to which Steve, shout out, sent me the link for me. He's like, oh, spoilers for a new trailer. And I went... Mm. Cuzzy, rewatch it. it. I'm like, rewatch it, bud. I'm like, a lot of scenes used from past movies. And I'm like, and the scene there of uh, Andrew Garfield on the scaffolding. We've got to remember. Still with blue screen and <laughs> I'm like, yeah. we've got to remember that was done behind a green screen so anyone can grab that and put it anywhere they want. Correct. Perfectly fine. Correct. And I'm like, and just look at it. It doesn't look like a Marvel trailer. They are in it, but not in the stupid fucking <laughs> sense that <laughs> you guys think they are. Yeah. Just let it happen, guys. When we get it, it'll happen. Um, but yeah, hobbies and secret talents, it's about it, yeah. Uh, what is a niche interest you have? Niche interest? Uh, my only interest is movies, and that's like the most popular thing in the world. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> likes movies, right? So, yeah, yeah, that's kind of all I've got, really. Um, I have a lot of interests. Niche interests. I'd probably say still being someone that, like, Buys Loves things. <laughs> uh, yeah, a physical DVD purchaser. Yeah. Everyone goes, well, no, why don't you just stream everything? I'm subscribed to every single platform there is. It sucks because <laughs> I pay for them all, but a lot of people use them. But I do it out of the kindness of my heart and I still buy the DVDs. I got locked out of my own Netflix the other night. Really? my siblings were using it at the same time and I'm oh. too pov to buy all <laughs> more screens. So I was just like, rip. I guess I'll just read a book, I suppose. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I mean, I, no, I guess more of a, a general still uh, a love and interest in Power Rangers. Yeah. I mean, you, you don't find a lot of people that are still actively wanting to watch and or buy merchandise. No. Nah. And I'm like, I love it. It's my favorite. Fuck yeah. It's good stuff. Uh, what form of apocalypse would you rather face? Environmental, alien, zombie, anything else? What would you oh, like to face? In a, none of in them are apocalypse? good. I guess Alien would be the most interesting. <laughs> Just to be like, oh, everyone was right. <laughs> <laughs> they are out there. Yeah, well. Good work. You know what? And like, and like, would right. they invade and be pricks? Or would they invade and try and... Coexist? Be, yeah, try and be political and then realize that politics is not our strongest game. Hmm. Um, you know, environmental, you're just fucked, aren't you? Yeah. What do you do about that? I'd honestly, like, environmental, I'd probably put as, like, my least wanting to be in that I, I agree with that. I don't want to be on fire. Like, zombies, cool, you can, well, I mean, we've all seen The Walking Dead, manageable to live yeah. in that world. Yeah. Uh, aliens, War of the Worlds, you're all good. Yeah. Uh, get in a minivan and drive up the highway, yeah. apparently. There's <laughs> things you can do to get away from that <laughs> that situation, but if a fucking tsunami's coming... That's it. Just kind of sit and wait. You're set up a camp chair. Done. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. I'd probably... I'd like a dinosaur infestation. Okay. Give me Jurassic World IRL. Yeah. Still Let no me, trailer uh, for that either. Should be soon. Surely. Very... It's got to be this year, right? A trailer this year. Yeah, well, the release is next year. And... We, had, we got that poster. Yeah, it wasn't really that, a poster. It was a poster <laughs> going, here's all the cast and also delayed. And a pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. It will be fucking amazing to get that soon, though. Um, yeah, a couple of questions from yours truly. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's uh, back on the case. Would you like to live in a world with superheroes and villains? Uh, fuck, it'd be annoying, wouldn't it? it? would, wouldn't it? It'd be really annoying. 
Maybe not here. I don't know why they'd come. Oh, maybe they'd come here to be incognito and then bring the villains here. As we're like a small regional town. Yeah. So, like, maybe they'd, you know, they'd Clark Kennedy. He's on the farm. Thinks he's away and isolated and whatnot, yep. but his parents still get killed. And it's just like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. You brought the problem to us. Yeah. And you still destroyed like, the main city. Like, <sighs> you know how long the Harbour Bridge has been there for? Yeah. And I would like, I would lose so much sleep just being like, do I have a power? <laughs> and I would just be trying shit. You yeah. Know? I'd be lying in bed just going, if I flex this muscle, will a laser shoot out or yeah. something? Yeah. I'd be like flexing the back of my calf, just like. You'd be going to bed, being like, "Tomorrow's the morning. Tomorrow I wake up, new person. Tomorrow I wake up, no call. Tomorrow we'll, we'll I am close. someone. Yeah, and you jump off a building. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fly. Wouldn't be the fucking. First You're not invincible. Choice. Just if uh, the days leading before then weren't doing it, I, w- I don't think I'd resort. Uh, uh, I'd resort to the uh, to the building jump. No. Nah. Uh, I think it would definitely be a fucking annoyance to live in. Uh, yeah. Especially if you're a business owner. Yeah. Like, fuck, insurance would be no, through the saying, roof. Yeah, donut shop and someone just crashes into it. Yeah. Like, Come on, man. I wouldn't want to drive a car. No. God, There's no. a chance of just being, like, fucking crushed by Shopped something that's being whatever. flipped. I, yeah, it was watching the Eternals trailer last night as well, yeah. the bloke with the gold laser eyes, I'm just like, he's yeah. not controlling those. He's just fucking spraying them wherever he wants yeah, to. So. more than likely. We'll know in two weeks. We fucking will. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> Did you see today that, like, Chloe, uh, the director, Chloe Zhao. Yeah. yeah. She came out and she was just like, oh, it's the first sex scene in a Marvel movie and it's so beautiful. It's just like, is this marketing? There's yeah, a sex scene so, in it? Okay. I'm like, you know, people are like fucking seething for this right now. Like, yeah, you know, don't worry about marketing it. Who gives a it's, fuck about a sex scene? I don't know. It's weird. But now I'm so aware that there's a sex scene in it. And now you're just like, <laughs> I'm just like, wait, and who is it with? I hope it's Angela and Jolie. Oh, Lord. Lord. I know she's going to be a bad guy and she's going to get corrupted because it's spoiled in the trailer. No, she should be, she'll be all right. She'll be good. She'll what was the question? Superheroes. Yeah, no, nah, fuck that. Yeah. No, nah, 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 I'm good. saying no. Um, would you rather be the worst player on a great team or the best player on a terrible nah, team? Nah, the first one, 100%. Um, the worst player on a great yeah, team. Yeah, I'd love to be the stick in the mud, but just get all the glory anyway. <laughs> As you see, you're still up there like with the trophy, like drinking and stuff. I don't give a yeah. fuck. I want to be that. Um. Yeah, it's a fucking hard one. And there's no glory in a shit team because who gives a fuck? Who, who's watching Wolverhampton? You know, who's who's Wolverhampton's best player? Is uh, it David Seaman? How many times have I made that joke? Oh, my God. Uh, you got Adama Traore. Um, you got Raul Jimenez. Who's the, who's the shit team now? The shit team? Norwich City. Who just yeah, got Norwich walked, got romped last night. Got walked 7-0 from yeah. Chelsea FC and it was a fucking splendid game. Won me $10.75 in the Punters Club. Nice. But yeah, no, nah, I want all the glory without doing any of the work. Yeah, I'd feel it because you just, yeah. yeah, it'd be fine. You just feel like you're accepted. Yeah, I ain't give a shit. If you just put in an effort. As long as I'm getting paid. <laughs> it might not be the highest paid, but hey, you're getting yeah, paid man. in some fucking way. Yeah. Uh, and my last one. What's your opinion on the pyramids? My opinion on the pyramids is. What are your conspiracies? What are your theories? What are, no what are your theories? Think? It's slaves built it to honor the rich. And not honor the rich because the fucking rich told them to do it. And then they look fucking spectacular. It's very, very impressive that it's A, survived this long, B, that it was made at all. You know, they're just incredible things. But humans built it out of slavery, so they're kind of, you know, they're kind of monuments to slavery. That's what I believe anyway. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. That was a great question from me now. I think 100% this was not built by... A civilization of <laughs> fucking earthly capacity. Yeah. It's just... It's more alien than Stonehenge. You know, people talk about Stonehenge. It's just yeah. a couple of rocks lying down. It's just a couple of rocks. And like, how the fuck did they get there? I'm like, mate, have you thrown a bunch of rocks before? Yeah. And they just sort of like do their own the thing. The earth just eroded away around them. Yeah. It's a thing. It's not that impressive. The pyramids, pyramids are though. fucking impressive because they're lined up perfectly. They're know? lined up perfectly. Yeah. Uh, it's fucking stone. Yeah. I, I don't know if you try to move... Even just a fucking four by four piece of timber. I remember in ancient history learning about how heavy each stone is, but I don't yeah. remember the exact. But it, apparently, like, but it's, it's fucking heavy. Ridiculous. And you go, yeah. yeah, how? Yeah, with ancient technology, that's a bunch of pulleys and yeah. rope, and that's it. In I, the fucking I, desert of Egypt. In the desert. Oof. And now, they're still standing. They they've survived. Still standing. Everything. Yeah. Still standing. Crazy. 
you can't fucking like parts of it you just can't get to yeah you can no nobody can comprehend like how intricate they are inside the also. internals who knows where they go oh man yeah It'll okay we've exciting. seen a, we've seen a couple tombs here and there that's all well and good but how do we know that they were fucking ancient egyptians yeah i don't know there's a lot of questions about the pyramids and i'm just like it just doesn't make sense it's truly like it's an astonishing thing but it was definitely human there's no such thing as aliens or whatever. Fuck no! Yes, there is. <laughs> Where is the apocalypse then? What do you mean? And I, I was just trying to relate it to the first question. I was trying to make a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. I haven't eaten dinner. Yeah, fair, 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 fair. But yeah, um, yeah, no, they're fucking. I would give anything to go and see them. And yeah, I it would I be. Can, a, it would I be a cool viewing day. experience. I, was I, to touch I, it. I can't imagine how I would feel being. In that field, you know, I cannot imagine the power I, it would have. It would be so overwhelming to see them in person. Would love to, but, but I just know I'd be sweating up. Oh, yeah. fucking bucket load. Like I'm still impressed when I when you go to Luna Park and you're right underneath the Harbour Bridge. Yeah, and that's just the Harbour Bridge, and I'm impressed. Architecture by that. is a fucking weird thing yeah. when you think about it, especially when it was built ages ago when there was just no H&S or anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that old cunts is literally just like climbing up free. Yeah. No, le- no fucking, just no harnesses. Buckets hanging off their belts and shit. Yeah. It's like, okay. Sitting on the edge, just having their sandwich. It's like, this is yeah. fucking mad. Meanwhile, I make a batch of dough at work and I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> ambulance. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, incredible. Architecture is just fucking stupid. Cool. Fucking love the pyramids. <laughs> love ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt is definitely one of it's my... It's my favorite subject at school. Ancient yeah. history. Well, my ancient history, every assignment I did was just on the Great Sphinx of Giza. Yeah. And just kept going back to it. I'm like, it's fucking interesting, isn't it? It's very interesting. I couldn't tell anything about it now. Yeah, no, no. I don't, don't remember. I don't retain it. anything unless it's actors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking yeah. It was a lot the of... The plot art. of Dark Man from 1993. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> fucking hell. Um, all right. That's all my questions. That's uh, that's the episode done. That's a movie. That's a movie. Next week is spooky. Next week is spooky. So we're spooky recording. Week. On Halloween, we're recording and releasing on Halloween, and we're watching a Halloween movie. Mm-hmm. Next week, we're doing Halloween Kills, the latest installment to the uh, uh, overrun into the ground <laughs> franchise that nobody asked for to keep going. Halloween, but God, please end this. Yep, uh, but apparently, we're still getting one more after this anyway. Yeah, of course. Because Cause the trilogy Hollywood. was ordered before they knew it was going to be a <laughs> bit of a trash fire. Yep. So, studios don't do that anymore. Do not do that. Stop it. All right. That's our main show, guys. Um, if you liked it, make sure you do all that good thing and subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube. Like the video. Um, share around. If you're on Spotify or wherever you listen to podcasts, uh, like it. Uh, rate it if you can. Do something like that. Whatever I don't know what you, I don't know what you can do. on there. Yeah. Um, if you want any merch, we do have a new merch store on Redbubble. Link for that is in the description below as well. Um Easily accessible, cheaper shipping, and quicker postage. Much quicker than the US of A. Yep. So we did that for you guys. Yep. Um, all our links for everything else is in our link tree below if you want to find us anywhere on the internet because we are everywhere. We really We're wriggling are. around everywhere. We are absolutely everywhere. And <laughs> we'll talk about this after, but I'm thinking of making a TikTok for us. I'm thinking of, um, we're, we were joking about Pornhub last night and... Um, it's the Wild West. You can upload anything to porn up. Yeah. And there's billions of people on it at every moment because everyone watches porn, right? Yep. So if we just nick the algorithm in the right way and upload a full episode and it just hits in the right time in the right place, people click on it as a meme or whatever. Yeah. Just the view, the revenue from that alone. Uh, we'll look into it. We'll fucking look I reckon into we, it. I reckon it's worth a try. Uh, yeah. So, as well as this main show, we do a midweek show through the week as well. It's called You Like That Extra, where we give you guys a choice of a bunch of movies. You get to pick out one in a themed choice. However, the next two weeks, you do not get a choice. Because it's Halloween and it's spooky times, we're doing Face Your Fears. So, next week, on the next Extra, next Thursday, we'll be doing Eight-Legged Freaks. The week to follow after that will be Anaconda. To conquer our fears of spiders and snakes. We'll Ugh. Fucking hell. We'll Fuck be able to that. pick them up after this. But after that, we'll be back after to normal. After that, we'll be back to vote. So normal I've got, programming. I've got some theme ideas. 
It's always good. Jack hits them out on the Monday, so you guys get the vote on that. Um, if you want to watch last week's, we did Hitman from 2007. Yep. Timothy Oliphant. Yep. And Somehow got half an hour out of it. Somehow. <laughs> we fucking surprised us. I thought we were going to get a lot longer out of this one. We're pros. We're fucking good at what we do, man. So, in all that being said, guys, thank you very much for sticking around and joining us here. You've been joining with me. My name is Adam, and I'm one half of the You Like That podcast. Uh, my name is Jack, and I am the other half of the You Like That podcast. And we'll see you all next week. Uh, bye.